What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode of Big South Outdoors TV. Today I'm at my shop. You know, as I know, as you know, I live in the, what I call the dirty south and we're on a gas shortage right now. So I'm at the shop doing little odd and end things that I normally don't get to do because, you know, I'm usually out working or whatever. But I've got a little project and I want to take you along with me from the journey. But anyway, before we get to it, make sure and hit that like button. Click that subscribe button. Guys, subscribing is free. Click that subscribe button and become a part of the Big South family, please. But uh, when you do, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content. As you can see, these are my gardening shears. This is what I use to trim little uh, growth shoots off of bushes and stuff like that instead of having to use my gas powered trimmers. Um, this is what I use. And you can see uh, over a period of years, they're still sharp, but they're rusted really bad. And I've been told by a couple of guys, a couple of friends of mine that this right here, white distilled vinegar, will take every bit of that rust off. And as you can see, that's Dollar General brand, Clover Valley, that's Dollar General brand, white distilled vinegar, or distilled white vinegar. But anyway, I'm gonna take these things apart. I've already got the nut loose, but I'm gonna take it apart so that the, the vinegar can get to all aspects of these clippers. And that right there is a little bit of WD-40 that I sprayed on it to try to get some of it off and it wouldn't work. But the spring is on there, but I'm gonna do it like that and I'm gonna pour this vinegar in there and I'm gonna let you see me do it. And I'm gonna see if white distilled vinegar will actually cut the rust off of these things. And I wanted you to be able to, sit, to share this experience with me. So let's, let's get into it. I'm just pouring just enough in there to put it and then I'm gonna, because I want it completely submerged, I'm gonna put that piece of wood under there and uh, let it sit in the deepest part. And as you can see, they're completely submerged. Now, I'm not gonna leave the camera on for this experiment. It, there's no reason to do that. But uh, I'll come back a little later and uh, we'll wipe it down there thing and see what it looks like. The Clippers are still soaking. It's now been just shy of an hour and a half. And I wanted to zoom the camera in so you could see the little bits of rust that are actually coming off of the metal. Now, all I've done is I come out here about an hour, about, well, actually about 30 minutes ago, and I flipped them up over and uh, I haven't scraped them, I haven't touched them with any kind of a brush, anything. And it seems to be working. So we're gonna, sorry guys, that was my dog trying to get out of the office. But anyway, um, you can see his videos at Baron the Boxer Dog on YouTube. But anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, uh, we're gonna keep going and see what it does. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pick the pan up and just let you see. You see that line right there? That is actually rust that has settled to the bottom. And you can see all the gunk and rust and stuff that's floating in this vinegar. Right there. Now, what, I've, what I have read is that you let it soak for about three hours and you take it out and you, you brush it down with a toothbrush or a steel bristle brush. Well, that's what I have. Excuse me, I'm sorry I bumped the camera. I have an old raggedy steel bristle brush here and that's what I'm gonna brush it with. So I'm gonna sit, get the camera set up where you can watch me actually brush it and um, we'll see what it does. Now I've got it out of the vinegar and I'm, I'm gonna put it real close to the camera I am absolutely amazed. It has absolutely eat away the rust on this tool. If the camera is blurry, I apologize. But we're gonna give this a quick brush and I'm gonna put it right here so you can watch me do it. And you can hear the steel metal on metal brushing it. 
I'm not doing it hard. I'm just not doing it very gently because I don't know if the vinegar has eaten to the actual metal or not, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to, you know, take away any of the metal. These, these hand shears about once every two years because they get so dull and to be honest with you it's hard to sharpen i try to file i try to grind grind works best but even then they, they, they just don't hold an edge like they do when they were brand new but anyway and i'm gonna dip it back in the vinegar and rinse it off oh my god i am not i am not believing my eyes and guys i, I i'm i'm astonished I'm gonna brush this spring really good. Guys, look at this. It completely disintegrated the rust and cleaned them completely up. I am absolutely, I am blown away. As you can see, there is no rust. It's gone. It is absolutely gone. Now, I left these things in the vinegar. It said, everything I read said three to three and a half hours. And I'm going to be honest with you, we were watching a movie and I fell asleep. So it's been about four hours, but they're clean. And I'm going to tip it down like that so you can see. There is no rust left. It is completely clean. There's the, there's the vinegar bath. Now I found this adjustable wrench. It just says Ford Steel. It's not a name brand or anything like that. It just says Ford Steel. And actually it's a Pittsburgh. It's a Harbor Freight. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I found it laying in the dirt on a job site. So I'm gonna throw this thing in here and I'm gonna let it sit. And I'm going to see what happens then. There it is in the bath. You see it sitting there. I just dunked it in there. It's completely submerged. I had to put it at an angle like that. So it would go completely under. So I'm going to let that sit for a little while. I'll be back. All right, we're back. It is exactly three hours later. Uh, the wrench is still in the vinegar. I have not touched it. My son Nate is standing right here with me and he can confirm I have not touched it. I put it in the vinegar and I haven't done another thing to it. So we're going to take it out and I'm going to get my, my uh, steel bristle brush like I did before and I'm going to scrub it down and see what we get. All right, I'm going to take it out of the vinegar. And that's what you get. That's what you got right there. I'm gonna turn it like that so the light will hit it and you can see it. It has not been touched yet with a brush or anything. So let's do some scrubbing and see what kind of result we get. looks like there's still some rust surface rust on this but I'm gonna tell you right now it's a lot cleaner than it was but, uh, work on this a little more I think I will put some pressure on it just to see if that helps me Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna dry it off really good. 
the only place I did not screw them is inside of the jaws of this wrench. There's one thing, that vinegar likes to hang on to your fingers. And guys, if, if, if in the event you don't know, it's almost dark out here. But um, this is the result. I'm going to get back here behind the camera and let you see. That wrench was completely, totally taken over by rust. And I let it sit for three hours. I let, If you remember, I accidentally fell asleep watching a movie. And I let these sit in for five hours, four and a half, five hours, something like that. And this one I let sit in for three. And I believe if I let them sit there for, oh, another hour, I wouldn't have had to do all the scrubbing that I did. But anyway, the result is pretty much, it, the results pretty much speak for themselves. After all the money that I have wasted, basically, throwing rusty tools away that were seized up and wouldn't move because of rust, I mean, yeah, you can spray it with WD-40 and loosen it up and then spray PV Blaster on it to keep it lubricated. But you can't get rid of the rust. Or at least I thought you couldn't. And uh, this was an experiment on my part. I had read about this and I've had a I had even had a couple of buddies tell me about this, about doing this. I didn't believe them. I honestly did not believe them. I decided to try it out for myself. And the reason I did tried to decide to do it today is because I found these clippers uh, at you know at a, at a un, basically an unrealistic spot at my shop I had no idea I had put them there but I found them and I use them every day while I'm working and you know what I do for a living and uh, I found them and I decided you know what this would be a good time to try this trick and see if it actually works well I'm gonna show you the vinegar. That is the vinegar that has come out. All that crud in the bottom of it that you see all them big chunks, that's rust. That is rust. And uh, the, the vinegar, I guess the acid in the vinegar just eats it away and it lifts it right off the metal. And it does not, it doesn't have pits in the metal. So it, it does absolutely restore parts. What's that thing barking? I guess it's a dog or... Jabba da 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 What does that mean? The man who walks like a crocodile. Or the crocodile that walks like a man. One of the two. Uh, anyway. Here's the second one. It was my dyslexia click kicking yeah. in. I mean dyslexia. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, this experiment took a, to a total of seven and a half hours. This is an all-day experiment, basically. Um, I had other things to do. I got some other stuff done while these things were soaking. The important thing to know is vinegar works. Um, this is actually what I used. I showed it to you in the beginning of the video, and this is it right here is basically Clo Clover Valley distilled white vinegar. That's all it is. There's no additives. I didn't put another thing in it. I poured it directly from this bottle into that pan. If we had smell-o-vision, you could smell that's pure vinegar. But anyway, guys, if you have rusted tools, yard tools, hand tools, mechanics tools, whatever, that, are, that have rust on them and you don't want to throw them away, put them in vinegar. Let them soak for a few hours and then scrub them. A lot of people use a toothbrush. I prefer to use a steel bristle brush because you don't have to put as much effort into it. it the, the metal on metal cleans very well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, be sure and hit that like button. And leave me a comment of some stuff that you would like to see me do. Uh, I'm game for anything unless it's illegal or immoral. But anyway, leave a comment below as to some stuff you would like to see me try or see me do. And uh, let, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Subscribing is free. Subscribe to the channel, please. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and you can help me with that. And when you do, click that notification bell so you don't miss any notifications of content. So anyway, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV. 
saying, always remember to live big, live Southern, and live outdoors. Have a good night, folks.